This question is from Ravin Prabhu. He says, Pranam and Hare Krishna Guruji, which word is indicative of physical form? And does this stanza mean that we should worship with open eyes and not closed eyes? Of course, when we worship Krishna, when we see his beautiful form, especially in the temple, in the deity's form, so Krishna is very, very beautiful, very, very beautiful. Uh, if, if we close our eyes, we cannot even see Krishna. We have to see Krishna. So we have to open our eyes. With our eyes only, we have to see Krishna and worship, look at, see the beautiful Krishna and uh, pray to him, worship him, offer him prasadam, everything we should do like that um, uh, in person. So so that's the, that's what Krishna is saying there. Maya Vesya Manu Yema Nitya Yukta Upasade. Nitya Yukta Upasade means who are always engaged in worshipping me. So that's what is very important. So Maya Vesya Manu Yema. So those who are focusing their mind on me. So when we are seeing Krishna's personal form in the deity form, so we are actually, we should focus our mind on Krishna. When we see Krishna, our mind should not go anywhere else. Our mind should simply go only on Krishna. That's what Maya Vesya Manu Yema. Nitya Yukta Upasade. Shraddhaya Pareo Peta. So with faith, with superior faith, Shraddhaya Pareo Peta. So then Krishna is saying that I consider them to be the most perfect. So that way we have to open our eyes and, and worship Krishna. Hare Krishna. Uh, Prabhu, so does that mean that uh, the worship that we are doing, if we do the worship with closed eyes, that is not the best form? Yes, Prabhu. Closed eyes we cannot worship, but um, when chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, so that's a different thing. At that time also Krishna is not asking us to close our eyes. Krishna is asking us to don't look at any other direction. This is Chan Avalokya. So, Sampreksha Nasika Gramswam. So, look towards the tip of your nose. So, just like sit here and chant, you just look towards the tip of your nose. Don't look at any other direction. But Krishna is not even asking us to close our eyes when chanting also. So, that way you don't have to, especially when you are going and taking a darshan in the temple, we have to see Krishna. If we close our eyes, how we can see Krishna? So, you understand it, no? Yeah, Prabhu. Uh, and first part of my question. So, which word in this uh, uh, stanza is indicative of the physical form? Physical form, Krishna is saying that, first of all, Maya Vesya Manu Yema means one should focus their mind on me. So, mind yes. on Krishna means we have to only as in a physical form. And Nitya Yukta Upasate means those who are always engaged in worshipping me. So, worshipping means it's only in the physical form only you can worship actually. So, the right. Nitya Yukta Upasate. So, those who are always um, uh, like um, Krishna is saying that worshipping me. Yeah, upasate means worshipping. So, that's what uh, is the physical form. Sardhya Parayopeta Teme Yukta Tamomade. Because Arjuna himself asked the question like the Evam Sadhate Yukta Ye Bhakta Swam Paripase. Those who are always engaged and worshipping you. Uh, so, Bhakta Swam Paripase. That is Bhakta. So, Bhakta means it's a devotee. So, devotee worshipping Krishna in his form. So, that's what then only we can fix our mind on Krishna. Maya Vesya Manu Yama Nitya Yukta Upasade. So, there is no such direct word saying that it is a it's a personal form like that but the entire meaning itself conveys the same thing that those who are engaged in worshipping me um, uh, that's what Krishna is saying that Maya Vesya Manu Yama Nitya Yukta Upasade always engaged in worshipping me so that is possible only by worshipping him in his personal form uh, So Prabhu very good explanation so does that also mean that uh... Uh, we should uh, be worshipping the Radha Krishna form rather than the Rama Devi Krishna form. Yes, Prabhu. You can you see worshipping Krishna is what very important. You can worship in whatever form you, you like. You can worship. So Radha Krishna form temple, all the temples, they have Radha Krishna form. But we need to understand that they are not different. Radha is Krishna. So worshipping Krishna... Uh, in, in, in whatever form you are worshipping Krishna, it's fine, Prabhu. It is not something like two different forms like that. You are worshipping Krishna. That's what is very important. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, so, so that means uh, the worshipping the physical form is the worshipping in the physical way. It's not the physical form of uh, uh, Sri Krishna. 
Yes, Prabhu. For example, going to temple and seeing the, getting the darshan of Krishna, Radha mm. Krishna, there in the darshan. So then you fall under their feet, you, you, you bow down, correct? Okay. So, so then you offer prasadam also to Krishna, you look at Krishna. And uh, so that is the way of worshipping him in personal form, Prabhu. That's what Krishna is talking about there. So that is kind of worshipping. Even you okay. can do it at home also. You can have Krishna's deity and you can worship him. You can give him bath and you can give him prasadam and, uh, and uh, very nicely all the time. So they are all worshipping in, in the personal form. Prabhu. Dhanyavad Prabhu. Very good. Uh, thanks. Thank you Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Okay Guruji. <clears throat> so, so that means in this verse there is no word which says personal form. But when Krishna says that you worship me like mom, then since Krishna is saying that you worship me, so this means it has to be his personal form only because he is using the word me. Yes, Prabhu. Okay. Good. Yes. And engaging in my worship, that's what, Vitya Yukta Upasate, worship, worshipping itself comes in, in when you, you can worship only in the personal form only. There is no other way you can remember or think about Krishna. The other way is uh, uh, Aksharam Abhyaktam. So that we are going to study tomorrow. Okay, good. good. They, Thank uh, you. That, any form to Krishna. So here you are attributing form. Yes. Okay. When we ourselves have form, Krishna also will have form. So that's what we need to know. We cannot simply say that Krishna is formless. Krishna, uh, when we have form, Krishna is uh, everything. Pro. Yes, Prabhu. Yes, Guruji. Yeah, thank you for that explanation. Hare Krishna.